35 yard line. So he'll pick up three on the shuffle pass. And it'll bring up a fourth down and 10. And they're gonna bring in Coyle to punt. I think they will. They're gonna try to move Woodland Hills as far back as they can. And if this one goes into the end zone, they only get pick up 14 yards on the change of possession, but I think they're looking at Coyle to try to put this in somewhere where the Indians can down it inside the Woodland Hills Wolverine territory. High kick, this one will sail into the end zone. No, fair catch, called for at the three yard line. Holy cow. Oh my, oh my. Griffin will probably hear that one. This one clearly headed into the end zone, but Griffin fair caught at the three yard line. So the Wolverines will start in the shadow of their own end zone. Holy cow. So now the Indians, one defensive play here from putting the uh, first points of the game on the board. Farish into the pile, gets maybe two yards to the five. They're gonna give him three to the six. Oh my goodness, Merry Christmas. Ferris, the ball carrier, tackled by number 24, Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams up to make the tackle, but now the Woodland Hills Wolverines have a little bit of breathing room. Ball at about the five and a half yard line. First man through is Jezevich. And Jezevich will get to about the 10 yard line. Four yard pickup for Jezevich, and it'll be third down and three. Again by the by Wolverines would be content to just try to grind it a few yards at a time. Certainly not trying to do anything uh, foolish down here deep in their own in their own territory. Ball at the 10 yard line. Only good thing for Woodland Hills is the field is uh, in good condition there. Farish tries to find a lane. The Indians close, and Farish, will he have the first down? He'll be close, but it looks like he's a yard short. Needed three, got two, did Marcel Farish, and it'll be fourth and a yard for the Wolverines. And the Wolverines look like they're gonna keep the offense out there. Well, they try to, nope, here comes the punting unit. The Wolverines are going to do well to call a timeout here after a long decision. And they do call a timeout. 6.25 to go. First half. We're scoreless. Penn Hills, Woodland Hills on the MSA Sports Network. Scott at his own 46-yard line. Another high snap. Delcito pulls it in, gets a kick up. Carlos Scott at the 46 yard line, breaks the first tackle and goes down at the 38. 614 to go here first half. The Indians with it at the 38 yard line of Woodland Hills. No points yet, we're scoreless. Penn Hills, Woodland Hills on the MSA Sports Network. Bolton, again, the Indians in the sloppiest part of the field, and it's just getting sloppier. And Fulton will throw. Looks right. And Carlos Scott didn't expect that one at all. Carlos Scott was out blocking. Had he run the hook, he'd have had a first down for the Indians. 
So with the play, the clock will stop with 6.09 to go here in the half. Second and 10. Carlos Scott will go in motion. They'll fake the reverse. And Aaron Williams will carry Wolverines up to the 35-yard line for a pickup of three. The Indians will be looking at a third and seven. Indians with two turnovers in their first two possessions. The Woodland Hills Wolverines, a high snap on a punt, gave the Indians the ball at the 20-yard line. They couldn't do anything with it. They turned the ball over to the Wolverines at the 13-yard line. Indians punted moments ago following Woodland Hills Wolverines punt. Uh, they had it at the Woodland Hills at the three. They punted from the 12. And that's where we are at this moment. Five and a half to go here, second quarter, scoreless. The Big East Conference Championship. Penn Hills and Woodland Hills. Fulton, play action, has a man, Carlos Scott, and the pass is overthrown. I don't know if there's a miscommunication on the pattern or Fulton threw it away, but it's going to bring up a fourth down, and the Indians will bring the punting unit on once again. And I think Andre Griffin was told, don't fair catch it at the three. Well, watch the Indians on the fake punt as well. Uh, the officials blow the whistle for something. I can uh, bring out the clean ball. Coyle gets the snap, gets the kick away, high. It's going to hit inside the five. It will go into the end zone. Indians look like they may have had a chance to down it inside there, but nobody closed on the ball, and the Woodland Hills Wolverines will have it at their own 20 with 5 and 11. Oh, there's a flag back at the 44-yard line. What is it? Did somebody hit Coyle? That's going to be a five-yard running into the kicker. Why not? Take the five yards, kick it again. I mean, what could they do? Kick it in the end zone and uh, put it at the 20-yard line again? Or were they going to go for it now? <clears throat> it's going to be a five-yard running into the kicker penalty. So instead of fourth and seven, it'll be fourth and two. Bring it up to the 30-yard line. If you go for it here and you don't get it, what did, what did you do? You surrendered 10 yards to the Wolverines at the 30 instead of the 20. Or they're going to try to draw the Wolverines off sides and get the cheap first down. Power eye behind Fulton. Again, the Indians in the sloppiest part of the field. Looks like there's room to the right. Fulton fumbles the snap, gets it away, and he'll be sacked back at the 36-yard line. Again, the Indians in the sloppiest part of the field might not have been a good idea to do it from that point. So he'll lose six on the play, and they'll turn it over on downs. The Wolverines will get it with 5.04 at their own 35. So it's a loss of five on the play.
Now the Wolverine offense. Back on the field, but now again, they're in the sloppiest part. Griffin will throw. Looks right to swing pass. Farish has a lane. Aaron Williams will come up to make the tackle, but not until Farish gets the first down. They're going to mark him out at the 47-yard line, a pickup of 12 on actually the run since it was a backwards pass. So officially going into the books as a run, not a pass. Yezovic, big hole. Carries Indians ahead for the first down. Out to the 43 yard line. Pickup of 11. Back-to-back -back first downs for the Wolverines, and they are in Penn Hills territory again. Clock running, approaching 435 to go here in the scoreless first half. Yezovich again, holds on to the football. Dives out to the 40-yard line. They're going to give him the 38-yard line. They give him. They gave him the slide. So a pick up a five on the play for Yezovich. A nice carry. And the Wolverines looking at a second down and five. Marcel Farish, wrapped up. Dan Mason, pickup of two on the play. It'll be third down and three for the Wolverines. It's been tough sledding tonight for the Wolverines. Marcel Farish and the Indians look like they, I don't know, the officials are gonna bring out the sticks. Oh, wait. So the stick crew comes on out. And it's the first down. Officials wait to set the sticks. The clock stops for a moment with three and a half to go. The Wolverines do get the kickoff to start half number two. <clears throat> He's getting fucked. That's all there is. Farish. Gets inside the 30, picks up five. He's sucking down in five. It's like the Wolverine offense starting to wear down the Indian defense a little bit. <laughs> Yezovich, first man through, slips, goes down at the 31. Excuse me, the 26. Griffin's going to throw, pumps, looks, nowhere to go. Tries to get a block, doesn't. And it'll be dropped for, uh, I don't know if he got back to the line of scrimmage or not. Looks like they're going to give him the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, it'll be third and three. Or excuse me, fourth and three. No gain on the play, fourth down.
Clock is stopped. Oh, I guess he went out of bounds. Fourth down for the Wolverines. Wolverines like to run the option at this point. There they go. Nope, Griffin's going to drop and throw. Looks downfield and puts up a duck, and it's intercepted by the Indians. Would have done better to just bat the ball down. The Indians would have had it back at the 26, but now they're going to have it at the 11. But nonetheless, the Indians do have the ball with 1.53 to go. In fact, they're going to mark it at the 10 yard line. <coughs> I think it would have, might have been a design play. Aaron Williams for maybe two. Williams, the ball carrier. The Indians probably content to kill the clock here in the half. Go in scoreless. Bolton is doing exactly that. He's letting the clock wind down, looking for the signal from the back judge who holds the play clock. And there goes the hand up. And Fulton runs the play. And Aaron Williams ahead for three on the play out to the 15-yard line. And it'll be third down and five. And the Wolverines with one timeout left. We'll probably use it after this play if the Indians don't get the first down. Fulton, not going to let the clock wind down. It's 20 seconds and running. Goes the signal from the official with five seconds remaining. Aaron Williams again runs into a Wall of Wolverines will pick up three. Aaron over the right side. And the officials quick to call a timeout as the Wolverines. It'll be fourth down. The clock stops with nine seconds left. So they're going to have to run one more play. So we'll take a timeout here. Nine seconds to go here in the half. We're scoreless. Penn Hills, Woodland Hills on the MSA Sports Network. Coyle back to punt from his own five-yard line. Indians need to get a good snap. And they do. Coyle gets the kick away. And it'll bounce, roll inside the 50. Woodland Hills fumbles the ball and falls on it at the 44, but the clock has expired. After one half of play, it's Penn Hill zero, Woodland Hill zero, second half to decide the Big East Conference Championship, and it's coming your way next here on the MSA Sports Network. Second half action about to begin here at U Haas McGinley Stadium. Penn Hills, Woodland Hills scoreless after one, one half of play. And the Indians will be kicking off for the first time tonight. Short kickoff, sits there at the 25 yard line. The Wolverines trying to come to the near side. We'll have a lane if they can bust across the 30. Carlos Scott, the one man to beat, and the Wolverines will return it out to the 48 yard line. The play slow to develop, but you can see it from up here, the way the near side of the field just opened up. And the Wolverines will start in great field position in a scoreless game for the Indians in the first half, Aaron Williams. 
Nine carries, 35 yards. He had nine tackles. Aaron Williams, the leading tackler on the Indians. Tommy Fulton, three of eight, 28 yards and an interception. It needs a couple of turnovers in the first half. A fumble and an interception. The Wolverines threw an interception late on a fourth down play. Farish hit by Goldston. And they're going to give him no gain on the play. It's Christmas here at McGuhas McGinley. We'll give him the line of scrimmage. Which is the 49-yard line officially. And it'll be second down and 10. Woodland Hills bobbled the snap. And it'll be sacked back inside the 45. Mason will drop him at the 44-yard line. Griffin bobbled us. They're going to give him the 45. Ugh. These officials have been uh, gracious in their spots. And it's third down, and we'll call it 14. So Griffin bobbled the snap, rolled to his left. I looked like it was going to be the first man through Yezovich. But Vondre Griffin tried to roll to his left and was unable to pitch it over to Farish. And Mason came in to finish him off back at the 45-yard line. Third and 14, draw play. Farish tries to find a lane. And the Indians will close. Farish does a nice job to come to the near side. But the Indians stay at home, making the tackle big number 74, Johnny Garrett. And it'll be a two-yard pickup, and it'll be fourth down for the Wolverines. Mike Belsito back to punt once again. His first attempt, the snap went over his head. And the Indians downed him at the 20-yard line. The Indians were unable to do anything and turn the ball over on downs. Opportunity wasted for the Indians. Another high snap. Belsito gets the kick away. Carlos Scott will let it hit at the 28-yard line and go dead at the 20. 9.42 to go, third quarter. We're scoreless. Penn Hills, Woodland Hills on the MSA Sports Network. Fulton will bring the Indians to the line. The lone setback is Chris Darby. We'll toss it to the right. And... The Wolverines close quickly. Very aggressive defense to the Woodland Hills Wolverines. Darby, no gain on the play. So tough sledding out there for everybody. Marcel Farish, 13 carries, 39 yards. That is not a Marcel Farish kind of night. And yeah, we mentioned Aaron Williams was uh, nine for 35. A little better yard per carry average for Aaron Williams. But still not a lot of yardage for two of the leading rushers in the WPIAL. Sipe will be in front of Aaron Williams in the eye. Twins to the near side. That'll be Carlos Scott going in motion. We'll toss. He's going to throw. Looking downfield. Has a man, and he puts up a duck. Brandon Carter's there. Catches it at the 48-yard line. Inside the 40. Carries Wolverines down to the 34. 